Hey y'all, it's Laura and I have the new Cocoa Vanilla Studio Happy Days collection in. And so I wanted to show you guys all of the bits and pieces that are in this one. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Cocoa Vanilla and I am on their design team. So I got the stuff first and I wanted to give you a little, little preview of what you're getting if you ordered it already and uh, to give you a little idea of what to expect if you're considering it. So to start with, let's look at the 12 by 12 papers. This is the first one, Sunshine Lollipops. Isn't that lovely? I am absolutely thrilled about this. Oh, this purple. Oh, purple and the navy and the pink. So excited about the color scheme in this collection. So that is the front side of Sunshine Lollipops. The back side is this beautiful little rainbows. And I am definitely going to fussy cut out some of these little hearts and stars and clouds as well. Those would be some excellent, excellent embellishments little blossom so it's just a nice teal on teal color on color sort of paper this would be a beautiful background or layering pieces and the back of this one would be why it's called little blossom there are little blossoms <laughs> funny that so these beautiful beautiful tiny little florals oh they're so pretty so pretty Next up is Feel Good, which is this lovely yellow. So we've got a yellow gingham with some varying stripe sizes is the cut apart. So here's the cut apart. Now, one of the things I like about Coconola's collections is that you can get a lot of little embellishments out of it uh, and they're just their cut aparts. So up here, so you can have some little postage stamps. You've got some little butterflies you can fussy cut out or you can make it a tag. You've got some little word phrases, or you can cut it out as a whole three by four card. So you have options. And then you've got a whole row of hearts you could cut out, or you could use that as just a strip. You've got some labels. You've got these lovely little banners to cut out. So this is such, such a useful page, and I highly recommend it for stretching the collection and your embellishments as far as possible. This next one is called Juicy Fruit, which I love that name. I think that's perfect. And so it is a kind of a mixed meteory bordered paper with a grid in the middle. So they got some little like stamped hearts and crosses and asterisks, asterisks, some little circles. So that's really fun. I really would like that one. And on the back of the Juicy Fruit, which is why it's probably called Juicy Fruit, is this. We have some lovely lemons and peaches and tangerines or oranges and uh, little flowers. So that is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I don't want to cover up this paper because I want you to see the, the color scheme all the way through. The next paper is Flutterby. Beautiful purple. I am thrilled that we get this beautiful purple in a full-on page. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So that's that beautiful front side of Flutterby. And as you could probably guess, the back side has butterflies. Look how beautiful. <gasps> so pretty. Definitely gonna fussy cut all of those out and probably the little flowers in between as well. Very excited to use those. The next paper is called Rainbow Bright and it's a kind of a little hearts on a white background. So little rainbow hearts on a white background. That'd be brilliant for layering. Absolutely love that. On the back with this absolutely stunning rainbow, full on rainbow. What I'm picturing with this is like maybe a cluster here, You've got your photos and a little title and a cluster there, or you could do it lower down here, or you could cut smaller. So just cut out some of the stripes and use it smaller on a different background. Anyway, that would be a lot of fun to play with, and I'm sure I will use this full rainbow for something. The next paper is Definitive. That's what it's called, Definitive. So another little tiny floral, but this time on the navy background. This one was on the dark teal. This one's on the navy, so we love that. On the back of Definitive, we have some words. 
some beautiful words. I like to fussy cut these out and use them as titles. That's my personal preference, but you could definitely do a big cluster in the center here or do a couple of strips and break it up and have it as your background too. Being as simple as that is, I think you could pull it off. And then the next one is called Lush Bloom. So this is the last paper in the collection and the A side has these beautiful little strawberries. Love that on a pink background. And then of course we have da, 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 the floral. Oh my goodness. This is just begging to be fussy cut. You know it's going to happen. <laughs> just prepare yourself. That's going to be absolutely fussy cut to bits. Now for the A5 paper stack, she always goes a little different sometimes with her papers in the A5 paper stack to these papers. It's usually not a huge difference, usually like some really minor things. So I thought I'd show it to you and we could just kind of figure out what the differences are. Uh, so of course we have the floral. These are of course scaled down. So it's a little bit smaller in size, which I love because then you can create some dynamic clusters. So we have that one that's matching. We've got the strawberries which is the same, okay? So you've got strawberries in A5, you've got floral in A5, you've got the titles. So again, that's perfection. Again, smaller, same with the blue floral. So, so far, same. Then we have the rainbow, uh, obviously on a smaller scale. But this would be great for a smaller album. If you're working in a smaller album, you could use this as your background. Or you could punch shapes out of it for a variety of colors. That would work out really well. You've got the rainbow hearts, which are the same. You've got butterflies, which are the same. So there's the butterflies in a smaller size. So, so far, everything's the same, but I already see a difference. So in this little dot, right? We have the dark purple here. We have a, a pink here. It's kind of purple. It's, it's pink, but it looks kind of purpley pink when you put it next to the purple. So there's a difference there. And then you have, of course, your peaches and lemons, which looks the same. And then instead of the yellow, we have a teal version. So there's that one's different. And then we have the teal floral is the same, but smaller. And then instead of the teal spot, we have a yellow spot. So you see there's slight differences in the A5 paper stack just to give you more options. And then of course we have our rainbows and our stripes and our cut apart, which is of course scaled way down. So I absolutely love that she does this. She gives us little word phrases. It is slightly different than the big cut apart because of course you're trying to, to fit it to a, a rectangular shape instead of a square. And But you should still have some tiny butterflies, some a label. You've still got two labels. You've got three by four cards. No, these are two by three, I'm sorry. Two by three cards. You've got some word phrases and some little journaling spots there. So that works out well. So I would say the only paper that I think isn't, so here's the cut apart there. I think the only paper that isn't in this one is that mixed media paper, which makes sense because that's a background paper. But yeah, that's beautiful. And I love the little mix because then you can use pink or you can use the purple. It just gives you more options. So let me clean up the papers and then we will dive into the embellishments. Okay, so the first addition to this collection is a specialty paper. So this is a, a nice thick paper and it has some gold foiling. Definitely gonna be cutting all of these out. Some of these you could cut out and use as actual like pictures of the item inside or you could fussy cut out the inside and the outside and use them as frames. I will probably do that because that'll probably be the best way for me to use them. I love the gold, look at that, that's so pretty. But yes, we've got love you, we've got hearts, we've got little fruit, we've got lots of butterflies and cameras and rainbows, love that. Next up is the Happy Days chipboard title. Now I've flipped the packaging around so that we can see all of the titles. I think that'd be a little bit easier. So we've got, hello my sunshine, best ever, so sweet, the good times, yay, love you, happy, 
This says you could do you or your. So either way would work. Awesome, beautiful, fun days together. So those are the chipboard titles. Put the put that there. There you go. Where you get a little reminder what all is together. And then we have the six by twelve stickers. So here is the six by twelve stickers from Happy Days. We've got some lovely little banner pieces up here. We've got some journaling spots. We've got a little row of hearts. Some tabs arrow, tags, labels. So I love that she gives you a nice mix of embellishments on the sticker sheet. And then here are the words. I love that she has started putting like little hearts next to some of the words. I absolutely love that. I think it makes them uh, really special, really fun. So that's the six by 12 sticker sheet. If you get the collection kit, which has all of the papers, all of the 12 by 12 papers, you get this inside of it too. Now here is the mini puffy alphabet. So they're all the colors from the collection and numbers and letters as well. And so just to give you some sort of frame of reference of how, to, this is very tiny. Here, word phrases, yes. So look, compared to the word phrases, very, very tiny letters, just so you have kind of a, a size guide. So we have larger titles here. These would be like your mini, mini titles. Then we have some lovely, lovely little hearts and they're not puffy. I think they might be enamel hearts, maybe kind of plastic hearts. I don't remember what they're called. They say puffy stickers, but they're not like pillowy puffy. There's a little bit of give to them, but they're, they're kind of a harder, harder plastic sort of puffy. So those are lovely. Whole bunch of them. You get 76 pieces. Holy moly. And then we have the real puffy hearts. Now these are called, yeah, puffy hearts. I was correct. So <laughs> these say puffy stickers. These say puffy hearts. So if you're looking for the label, that's the difference. These are the puffy hearts. They're kind of pillowy. They're fabric and they're really sweet. They're not super dimensional. So you see they're not like standing up in a big, big way, but they have a nice little floofy, floofy feel to them, which I adore. So 12 of those in a pack. And then we have the embellishment pack, 48 pieces in this one. I'm gonna show you the back. And then at the end of the video, I'll pull out this one and the floral ephemera and break it all out onto my desk so you can see the sizes of the pieces. So here is just a general overview of what's inside just in case you don't necessarily want to stay for all of that part, but got a little title, we've got some fruits, we've got some smaller cut apart pieces here, frames, uh, rainbows, sunshines, butterflies, pinwheels, beautiful, beautifulness. So we have that. And then the piece de la resistance, nope, I didn't say that right. The piece de resistance, maybe, maybe I said it right. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I took American Sign Language in college, not French. So beautiful florals, 55 pieces. Here you go. This is my favorite part of the collection always. Floral ephemera has my heart always. I love that there's lots of little green pieces to mix in and some of these tiny little frondy bits and then a big selection and size colors. Uh, loveliness, design of florals. So that is the Happy Days collection. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up and I'll go through these, spread them out on my mat so you can kind of see how big the pieces are. Okay, so let's get started with uh, some of these bits and pieces. We have a nice uh, rectangular frame, kind of a, a uh, cartoonish whimsical vibe. Then we have happy moments together. We've got you're the best. So this is a pretty typical size little uh, word phrase flag. So if you want to use that for size comparison, that'll work. This darling little butterfly, which is about an inch and a half wide, inch and a half wide, just to give you size comparison. A little journaling spot, another little phrase, the best of times. Shine bright like a diamond. I like that. This cute little cloud, look at that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so cute. A little bike with florals. 
Ooh, look at this little banner. Oh, stunning. I love those little tassels. Then we have, yay! And a couple of hearts. So a couple of sizes of pink heart. And we have a little hello banner. We have two pinwheels. So these pinwheels are pretty good sized, right? A little bigger than I would have expected looking at the packaging. And they're measuring at three and a quarter, roughly, three and a quarter inches long. So pretty good sized, pretty good sized. And then we've got some more of those little hearts. We've got an orange one and a teal one. Sorry, they're not wanting to sit on my hand. And then a pink one, little floral cluster, and then the sun to go with that moon and rainbow. Oops. Rainbow, little rainbow, big rainbow. Sorry if it's getting a little dark in my room. It is raining right now, <laughs> pouring rain. Love that smile. A lovely little journaling spot. We have another couple of butterflies, a big one and a small one. There we go. Another heart, this one's kind of a lighter teal than that one. We've got a fun flag, a oval frame, have another little journaling spot, have another kind of a bigger heart in the blue, have this beautiful butterfly, a tab that says love this, happy, so bright and colorful, hey you're awesome, yes, yes you are, I'm talking to you, purple heart. Ooh, ooh, I love that. The best. That's cute. I like that. Amazing. Strawberries. Two strawberries. There we go. And here's your postage stamps. Three of them in a row. They're not perforated. So you could use them all at once or you could cut them apart. They stand exactly three inches tall. So three inches tall for those guys. Then we have our peach and orange or tangerine, and our lemon. Have a beautiful pink camera. Good times, and the days to go with happy. So happy days is the name of the collection. So that is in the main ephemera pack. I'll clean this up and show you the floral ephemera pack next. Okay, so in the floral ephemera pack, we have 55 pieces have uh, some beautiful hand-drawn flowers and I'm gonna lay these down pretty quickly while I'm talking because they're not you know especially talking worthy <laughs> they're not that different from flowers you normally see in the cocoa vanilla collections because Zoe has a very definitive style that I love absolutely love and find just astonishing how she can change things up just a little bit sometimes between uh, the different floral collections because she does some floral collections she's done some like themed collections she's done some like masculine collections and so i love seeing how she changes it up when she goes back and forth between her styles and the florals yeah that's where i really see her shine she just oh she does florals like nobody else does florals i just love 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 the florals that she adds to her collections how many times can I say florals in this video? Probably 12. That's, that's my guess. That's my guess. If somebody counts, let me know how many times I say florals. Oh, I said it again. <laughs> uh, maybe 14. We'll see. We'll see. So beautiful purples. I'm loving the purples. I'm loving the shades of teals. We have like a lighter teal and a darker teal. We've got a little bit of like a peach, peachy color. The yellow, of course the more orange, so this is more peach, this is more orange. We've got little extra leafy bits as well, which is nice, make your own clusters. Absolutely stunning. Those little lines in the middle kind of shine in the light, and I love that, like look at this. Like they're not glittery or anything, they're just white lines, but they just seem to shine in the light, that's so cool. So more pink, purple, and teal. 
That purple, mm-hmm, that is one of my favorite shades of purple. I'm throwing things now, good. That's orange. And a little bit of like a, a mix of the pink and the orange, like the tips were orange, just kind of cool. I love when she mixes the colors too. But yes, this Happy Days collection is one of the bigger ones that we've gotten recently. There's a lot in this one. <laughs> and to be honest, if I was not on the design team, I probably would have bought all of it. So this is, this is just me getting to play with my absolute favorite, favorite designer's collections every single time she comes out with one. So that's, uh, that's why I'm on the DT, because I'm obsessed. I have a, a slight cocoa vanilla addiction, slight. Sure. <laughs> now I'm lying to myself about it. <laughs> I'm in denial about how deeply I love Coca Vanilla. I love these little tiny pieces. They're great for adding just a little bit of height to the back of your clusters, which I'm sure you see me do quite often. They can also help you kind of angle your clusters in a certain direction, which is nice. So you've got some more tiny pieces to do that. So you can take your cluster around a circle using these to kind of guide it. And then our leaves, look at all the leaves. So many beautiful leaves. The leaves will do the same thing, help you kind of guide your clusters around shapes so they don't have to just be uh, flat or vertical or one way or another. You can kind of circle them around curves. And that adds a little bit of whimsy, a little bit of fun to a layout when you have curves. And the last little leaf, so this is the Floral Ephemera Pack. If you would like to check any of this out, be sure to check out the shops that carry Coco Vanilla. I know personally that My Little Scrapbook Store and a Cherry on Top carry it for sure. So any other stores that you know that carry it in your area, please put them in the comments below for folks that are looking because they always go to those stores first and they won't appear on Coco Vanilla's shop until later to give those stores a chance to uh, sell to their customers first. So love this collection, super excited to jump in. Let me know what you think in the comments below and until next time, bye y'all.